So it's something a little different today. We are in the parking lot outside of BMO Field talking to you about how you can make a commercial on any product. And I'm in front of my car because essentially this is about making a commercial on a car. And I'm joined today by Eric Moniz, my shooting partner, and we created a car commercial for fun that did pretty well on social media and actually got the ball rolling with the manufacturer of the car we shot. So we're gonna to talk to you about how we shot it, our inspiration behind it, and how you can create a video similarly. So. Let's roll. So what did we shoot and where did we shoot it? We shot a Mazda CX-5. So that's, that's not what's behind me. That's a, a Volkswagen Sport Wagon, which is also a great car, very sexy car. But this is a Mazda CX-5. Now it's a very common car, but it's also a car that is quite popular for its versatility. And we took it out to Uxbridge. And Uxbridge is a very cinematic location in Ontario. Lots of rolling hills, pastoral area, farmland, and open space to do all kinds of shooting. So we found kind of this dirt road uh, and we utilized that as our set. And essentially, Eric acted, I shot, and we spent the afternoon experimenting on how we can create a car commercial with only two people. Car commercials and any kind of product commercials generally have a large group of people on a film set. So I'm gonna roll this video now and you guys can see what the video is all about, how we shot it. It's short and quick, but you know, it turned out pretty good. So here we go. So what did you guys think? That was our first car commercial that we created for fun uh, on the Mazda CX-5. And it was really cool to give a shot utilizing the gear we use for our workflow. So we rocked out the Z-Cam E2S6. That's a Canon EF mounted camera using a Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter lens. And that's a very versatile lens for anybody looking to do product videography, feature videography, short films, you name it. It's a great lens to get. Definitely recommend picking it up. We also used the, the new DJI Ronin uh, RS2 Pro gimbal. And that's a great gimbal. It allows you to be able to uh, maneuver in small places with that camera setup and you can balance the z-cam really well on that ronin i'll do a video about how i balance my setup in the future and we also used an atomus ninja 5 um, or ninja v i always call it an atomus ninja 5. why do they call it an atomus ninja v it's a 5 it's a roman numeral and then we also used the good old trusty dgi mavic 2 pro so that was basically it can all fit in one bag a crew of two and you have a good subject on a good day and you can get creative <laughs> I know. Social distancing at its finest. Some of the inspiration that we've had behind uh, the mini commercial that we did was a video that Parker Walbeck did for Hyundai. And they did a challenge who can create the best car commercial between, I think it was three of them, who work for Full Time Filmmaker. And they all did a fantastic job. They, they showed the details of what they shot, why they're shooting it, the sound effects and all that fun stuff. So that's pretty much what inspired me to get certain shots uh, for the shoot that we did. Well. I wouldn't say inspired fully, but it was part of the inspiration behind what we did. Isn't it fun to have a stool? <laughs> yeah, I like this. <laughs> Stools are fun. They make you feel important. So storyboarding or shot lists, uh, it's pretty essential when creating something like this. You just need an idea of what you want to shoot. And uh, for cars especially, there's so many different details. There's the brand, there's the make, there's the rims, the, the screen, the dash, the wheel, the shifter, there's so many things you want to capture to really showcase the car and showcase why people would want to buy the car. So we made we made sure we captured uh, not only the speed with the drone, but uh, with Steven and the video camera inside, he captured the car revving, showing the speedometer, he captured the changing into the gear. The actor at the wheel. The actor at the wheel. That was like my first time acting, by the way. You just want to show off the car as best as possible. So it's important to make a mood board to get everything you need to showcase what the car manufacturer is trying to sell. It's so windy. We have two dead cats on this microphone. We got the traditional dead cat as well as the foamy because it's, it's not the best day for shooting. So make sure you always have a dead cat in your bag. Anyways, so when you create a video, 
don't just create the video in a 16 by 9 format. So now we're hopping to editing, as you probably can tell. Try and see if you can create the video on a timeline in Premiere and set the sequence to be an Instagram style square. Or think of taking that 16 by 9 video and also making it a 9 by 16 or the, the TikTok or real Instagram real style video setup because Videos are viewed on a multiple uh, platforms in multiple ways, and it's great to offer that also to clients by saying, you know, we can give you a video that's 16 by 9, and we can also give you a video that's an Instagram square or a TikTok or a Reel, because a little bonus tip, give various versions to the video when you deliver. So how we came in contact with Mazda? We posted it, we hashtagged it, we tagged every single Mazda company possible, and then one of them commented on the video saying how much they liked it. That was our in. So I used that. I messaged that same company thanking them and if there was any opportunity for, for us to work with them in the future. And then that led to an email, a phone call, and a conversation with one of the heads of marketing for Mazda. So what we did may not work for everybody, but it's, it's worth a shot. You just gotta keep creating content, you gotta keep tagging these companies, and you gotta keep working for that relationship because these relationships don't happen like that unless you're well connected, unlike us. <laughs> we had to work for our relationship. So as Eric said, just because you make a video on a car does not mean that necessarily you're gonna get hired by a car company because we haven't been hired yet by Mazda, but we're hopeful by creating content like this that we can create the ball rolling ahead in the future so that we can be hired by companies, not only car companies, but clothing companies or travel companies, hospitality companies, restaurants, you name it, to be able to showcase their works because they've seen what we can do on practicing through shooting a Mazda. So we hope you found this video uh, useful and unique and, you know, it's not too windy, so hopefully the audio works out in post. I guess I'll find out. And drop a comment below if you do the same thing. Do you shoot videos for car companies or for any other manufacturer that you're inspired to create content for? Because we'd love to see it. And please hit that like and subscribe button below. And until next time, pick up your camera, find something that inspires you, and just shoot.